Hey guys, welcome back to Better Biomed. Today I'm packing up and I'm heading out for some PMs. Yes, I still do those. And um, you know, I, I just realized that I never showed you guys one of the coolest tools that's in my arsenal for when I'm out there in the field doing PMs. You know, it's never professional to go into a site with all your stuff just hanging out, falling all over the place. Maybe some of your tools aren't as clean as you'd like them to be. There's a variety of reasons why you might want to use something like this, but let's go ahead and take a look at the Craftsman Rollaway. What a cool device, and I, I can't believe I've never done a video on it until now. All right, guys, here is the Craftsman Rollaway. It's um, it's like $75, something like that, at um, Home Depot, or, or Lowe's, was it? I thought I got this one at Home Depot. Anyway, immediately you can see it is not the smallest thing in the world, and that's a good thing. It's got two wheels on the back. It's got tie-down straps, so I could tie down my uh, tool bag and stuff, or my parts. I could actually tie down quite a bit of stuff. And I do believe that there is some sort of um, system that kind of attaches to this. But anyway, I don't use it for that. I use it because it's a nice, clean, sealed tote that I can take into a customer's account, and I can unpack a lot of my consumables. Uh, let's say I have adhesive remover, I have uh, lubricants and stuff like that. You know, all that stuff is kind of messy to haul around. This is a nice and neat method for doing it. So you see that there's a grab handle on one side. There's metal tie downs. There are very firm metal latches. You can hear it really clicks. And so there's locking points in the front on the corners. You can lock it down. It's, it's a really well-made tote. It seems to be very strong, and yes, at 200 pounds, I can stand on top of it. No problem. So it is not just a tote. It is also a step stool and a very stable one at that. And that's at me at uh, 200 pounds. Although, you see, they say, hey, don't do that. Yeah, right. Um, you know how we are. You know, it's a work surface as well. Um, I, I like to, there's this groove right back here. When I'm writing stuff, I'll, like, lay my pen down there. Um, maybe I'll put some magnets or something up here, but anyway, let's go ahead and open it up. It does have a, uh, full perimeter seal that makes it watertight. Um, you can see I got a bunch of stuff in here. I've got my, uh, pack out vacuum. I've got some wipes. I got a multimeter. I've got some sockets, some consumables. Um, I know I got some lubricants and stuff in there. Yeah. See down in there. So, um, there's a bunch of stuff that I can fit inside this and I'm, Obviously, I'm going to fit some more stuff, like some PM tags in there. But it's it's a pretty good tote. And I figured, yeah, it's just worth letting you guys know that this is actually my system that I use when I go into a hospital or an account. Yeah, I also do have the pack-out system that I've, I've said before. But, you know, this one here is for all the other stuff. I can put my electrical safety meter in there and uh, things like my um, goof-off and whatnot. So this allows me to go into a site, nice and neat, very correct. Also with my bag, so bag over the shoulder. This right here has got an extendable handle and it's multi-position, it's not all the way out. And it makes for a very comfortable ride when you're wheeling it around. It's a cool tote. I like the added touches of the metal tie downs as well. So it does fit in the back of my truck, which is probably one of the most important things. So we do have a low profile truck bed, but it still fits between this rib and this rib right here nicely. And I don't have to tie it down. It just kind of sits in there with the tailgate up. We're good to go. So anyway, guys, that is the Craftsman Rollaway. I do know that they make a bigger one, uh, but this one here, uh, let's see, it says maximum 80 kilograms. And on top of it, it says maximum 110 pounds stashed on top. I wish I knew how big this one was. I pulled off all the labels because who needs labels? It does have a metal axle, so it's very durable. It's a good kit. Anyway, just thought you guys should know. Anyway, guys, it's time to get on the road. Let's go get some work done. Thanks for watching, guys.